Andrea Koppel, host of the Time for Coffee podcast, where you get firsthand career advice into the jobs and industries that interest you the most. And before we start today's show, I have a quick favor to ask you. If you haven't already, I'd be incredibly grateful if you'd give us a rating and a review on iTunes. And if you're like me, you need to do it now because you'll forget later and because it's the best way to help others who may be in search of career advice to find this free resource. So press pause if you haven't done it and do it right now. I'll wait. Thanks so much and enjoy today's show. Hey there, Java Junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or ten minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career double shot K-Cup with my guest, Rose Catherine Pinckney. So let's kick things off by better understanding what you do as a senior executive and head of scripted development at BET slash Viacom, because it's part of a much bigger company now. First of all, what is scripted development? So everyone loves to watch television shows and they have to start somewhere. And what happens is that content creators and writers have ideas that they would like to make, get produced, and have them air somewhere. And development is the process by which this happens. So as a development executive, writers, producers, sometimes directors, people with ideas come to me and my team and they pitch us ideas. And if we like them, if we think they work well for our network, we buy them. We may commission a script. So we'll say, hey, we we like that idea why don't you write us one script? And then the writer goes and they write a script and we may give them notes, our our thoughts, any concerns we have, and they may go back and do a little bit more work. And ultimately we end up with a script, a pilot script, we call it. And then we as a network may decide whether we will move forward. Sometimes we decide that we're actually going to take that project and cast it and shoot it and we'll make one pilot. If you're really lucky, and my network does this sometimes, we will read a script that we really like and decide that we're going to make a whole series. So we'll decide we're going to make 10 of them or 12 of them just based off that one script. So development, the development team We look for these ideas. We look for writers and people with really good concepts that would work for our network. We read books. We go to other movies. We go to plays. We look at the news. We Sometimes we find an idea that we like and we might call a writer that we like and say, hey, we're really interested in this topic. Is there, you know, could you do a little research on this? Is there some, is there a TV idea in here somewhere? And so basically... We are kind of like in-house producers in a sense, because we are working with the idea, with the show creator. We're working with the directors. We work with the casting department to help get a show cast once we've decided we're going to make it. We work with the production department when they're figuring out, you know, who will do wardrobe, who will do hair, what what is the location that we're going to shoot in. So we're basically a department that gets to be involved in all kinds of aspects of making TV shows. And I I laugh all all the time without actually having a skill set in any of those areas. (laughs) I always laugh. I'm like, I don't write, I don't direct, I don't act, but I sure can tell you a lot about it. (laughs) And what is the difference between scripted development and current programming? Okay. Very important difference. So developers are the people who cannot come up with the idea, but work with the original idea from the inception and try to get it in shape so that it can be turned into a series. Or by the way, same thing. Well, it's a little different in the movie business, but current programmers, those are the executives or or current programming is the part of the business where once a show is kind of up and running and you've decided that you're going to make a bunch of them, 
then an executives take over and they stay with the show forever for all the seasons and all the episodes. It's kind of like the idea of I am the birth mother, not not me. And I don't want to say birth mother necessarily because a creator is actually the birth mother, but we help the baby come to life. And then we hand it off to the current programming executives and they adopt the baby and they take care of it and grow it into adulthood. So it's, yes. it's kind of like your guardian. <laughs> You've appointed a guardian. Yes. And it is really interesting that many great developers started out as guardians. They started out in current programming. The thought is, it is one thing to sell an idea, like, you know, to have a pilot where we've got one episode that we had to get right. One episode where we had twice as much time, twice as much money to make it, and we only have to make one. But once the show becomes a series, as an executive, you are responsible for making sure that you make one of those, maybe a week, 10 days, but that you make a bunch of them in a row. And so all the things that we had the luxury of having months to prepare to do, to cast, to rewrite a script, to change some dialogue, to pick the best location. Now they are doing on a weekly basis with a lot less time and they have to do it over and over again. So both jobs are really hard. You know, it is often said that in development, you're very much sales. I, I'm trying to get you to decide that I'm making this one, but I want you to buy a hundred, but it's the current programmers have to make those 100. So what happens is any of the little flaws or things, things that may have worked well when you made one may not work so well when you're making a hundred. And so current programmers get the best education in what makes shows work because they're doing it week after week after week. And even as they're making the same show, they've still got to make it fresh every week and tell a new story. So it's just, a, it's an amazing skill set to have. I believe that it's harder than development because again, you, you've got to do it consistently and repetitively yeah. in a, in a tight time frame. Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to this latest episode of T4C. And if you're interested in learning more about my coaching services for confused college students and recent grads, feel free to check out the Time for Coffee website under the coaching tab at time, the number four, coffee.org or text me at 202-236-5712. That's 202-236-5712. Thank you.